Hello everyone and welcome to the Monaco Last of First Challenge. Obviously, it's the Monaco Grand Prix this weekend. Super critical in qualifying. But, who do you think is going to win the race? And who do you think is going to be the driver of the day as well? Post them down below with your predictions and let's get a chat going. And I'll be replying to your comments and rating them if I agree with you or not on your driver of the day and predicted race winner. But... Today, we're doing the last of first challenge, Charles Leclerc. We've got 25% race on 110% AI. You can see, going through the strategy page right now, just debating what strategy we should be on. If we should be starting on the mediums or soft compound tyres. I can tell you, we do start on the medium tyres. But the really critical factor with Monaco, and especially making up positions on this track, is the pitch strategy. Because it's so hard to overtake on track. and costs you so much time to overtake on track. Getting that strategy spot on is absolute critical. But you can see, we are on the grid right now. We've got five lights. Five lights out. And away we go. Getting a pretty good start. Pretty relatively AI. But we're going to try and look to go down the inside. Make up as many positions in turn one as possible. Squirt the throttle. Down the inside. You can see we get a little touch from the snow to right behind. And we do get a load of wheel spin. But that is up into P16. That's a pretty successful start already. And now we're coming through Casino Square for the first time. We're too far back from the AI to do anything special. But you can see we're staying back. And we're going to open up the inside of the corner and dive down the inside. We decide not to go up the inside of Perez. But we do keep it up the inside of George Russell. And now we have to slot into the AI going exceptionally slow on the hairpin. You see we squirt the throttle and try to see if we can get away around Perez. But it doesn't work out. So we fall into position right now. But... It's super, super critical around here while doing the last of first. It's to knock off the AI as quick as possible, one by one by one. You cannot afford to sit behind them because we're over a second of that faster, I'd say, than the AI. You can see we're basically pushing Perez through the chicane. The chicane and low speed corners where the AI are quite weak. And you can see through to back, <laughs> Perez actually touching the wall there. So the AI getting pretty aggressive through the swimming pool chicane for the first time. See, we're going to look to the outside, but we do just get a bit too much understeer, and we almost hit the wall. We are playing uh, with simulation damage here today, so we have to make sure not to make any contact with the wall, otherwise it will be having serious repercussions. But, end of the first sector, you can see we think about a move down the inside of Perez, but we think better of it, but we do send it up the inside of the, Perez, um, of the hairpin of Sergio Perez, and like I say, we have to make sure not to damage our car, because any damage in the early phase of the race will be critical and absolutely ruin the rest of our race. End of lap two, right up behind Sebastian Vettel. You see, trying to go around the outside again, and we do get much further. We do hit the tyre with the wall, but that's okay. And you can see now getting a good exit onto the pitch straight, right in the slip chain, deploying the battery, getting a run to the outside of turn one, deep on the brakes, down to third gear, round the outside. Sorry, Jeff, we are doing heroics into Sandovot today. And then we can see going up the hill, Perez is attacking Sebastian Vettel. We have to be quite careful that Perez doesn't try and slide one up the inside of us. But... Now, lap four, knocking off the laps quite quickly, knocking off the positions really quickly. See, right up behind Kimi Raikkonen and send it down the inside, lay it on the brakes. We get the position, and it was quite lucky we got the position there as well, because he did try to hang it around the outside, but we closed the door, and he couldn't do anything about it. Now, we got Mick Schumacher coming up next. We just send it up the inside again, purple first sector. We have to leave room on the outside, because Mick did get his car there. So we do want to keep it fair racing with the AI. You can see now lap six already challenging our teammate up in P7. Coming out of Casino Square down to the end of the first sector again. Send it up the inside. But our teammate is much further alongside us than any previous car there before. But we do get past. He does give way. He does make it an easy overtake quite relatively. So now we had a second to Fernando. And we did catch up a second in the final two sectors of the track. Showing our pace advantage. But look on the minimap. Max Verstappen is so far in the lead right now. And we can see that. So we really have to make these moves super, super quickly. You can see coming through to Casino Square, getting an amazing exit. So much so that Alonso does go defensive. We go around the outside. Alonso hits the inside wall and hits us. And that does actually give us front wing damage. We send up the inside of Alonso. And you can see getting a lot of understeer. Actually putting in third gear by mistake. And you can see very briefly on the right-hand side that the wing is damaged. You can see how much understeer I'm getting through these next two corners. But nevertheless, we need to keep moving forward. We need to keep challenging. 
you see right up behind Bottas, we tried to go to the outside, we've got DRS open, is there a chance to turn one, there isn't a chance to turn one, but we get a fantastic exit up the hill, deploying a bit of battery, trying to go to the outside, he does leave the space, underneath the banner, around the outside of Casino Square, you can see he's squeezing us a little bit, but we keep committed, and that is a move up into P5, lap 10, halfway through the race. And this is really where it's going to become critical. You can see on the mini-map, there's an Alfa Romeo, then a Haas. It's about a three-second gap there. And I saw that gap and decided to box, make a risky strategy. Because on the predicted strategy at the start of the race, it was saying that the best lap was around the lap 11, lap 12. So I was really thinking the AI are going to be boxed on, on these next two laps. So I can get in, get the undercut, go into that space, and then push into clean air. But you can see coming out, we just about get out in front of the Haas. And you can see we've got 2.1 seconds. Giovinazzi right ahead. 2.3 now. So we've got loads of space to push into ahead. But it isn't going to quite work out in all of our favour. How we all planned out for it to be. End of that lap. We've already caught up to Giovinazzi. Purple in the middle sector. Our tyres are giving us so much grip right now. Try and go around the outside. Now into the final corner. The AI critically do not box. You can see right up behind. And easily going to go around the outside of Giovinazzi. On a fresher tyres. You can see he holds it on the inside for turn one. But not really anything you can do about it. You can see later that lap already catching up that gap to Sonoda. You see on the back of him going into tunnel, pressing the battery because we know we have to get past. You can see he defends the inside there. We had to lift a little bit just to make sure we didn't make contact. Now down the inside into the chicane. And you can see that's move done. And we've got Esteban Ocon right up ahead of us. Lap 12 now. And this is really becoming crunch time, a really critical phase, because now my tyres are not at the freshest point. They're not giving the most optimal grip. They're still so much faster than the medium compound tyres, but we're not able to take the optimal grip, optimal pace out of them right now. Ocon does stay out, but that gives us a free load of DRS and a good exit out of the final quarter. Means that we're relatively able to pull alongside, do the fastest lap of the race. But Ocon is fighting down to turn one again around the outside, and he does lose a lot of time. 1.4 seconds to Ricardo up ahead. You can see we've already caught the gap so you can see before the end of the second sector we was 1.4 seconds faster than him on this lap alone and now we're really being held up but this is the lap that the ai are going to start boxing and hopefully he can give us some free aid. You can stroll up ahead boxing unfortunately for us ricardo does not box he can even stop and on the minimap is so far up front, but he hasn't boxed as well. So this is giving me the opportunity to try and get past Ricardo. You see, sending around the outside. That was probably the furthest back we've been in turn one, all of the overtakes. But Verstappen now has boxed. He had such a big lead up front. This lap in clean air has been critical for us. We do do the fastest lap of the race, but Verstappen has rejoined the track in front of us. And now this is crunch time. We've got five laps, all the tyres around him, around Monaco, and that is is absolutely huge in lap time. You can see, by the end of a lap, he pulled away four temps to us, and we had nothing to respond with. You can see, we went green, green, red, as well as the tyres are starting to fall off. We've got 6.1 seconds to Gazi now, and 4.3 seconds to Verstappen on the final lap of the race. You can see, we went green in the first sector, because we're still pushing as hard as we can, but unfortunately, we just didn't have the pace. We made a mistake on the strategy but this was done in one take i don't want to be always restarting these last to first trying to get lucky on the strategy what happens happens i want it to be organic content for you and showing the best way and you can see drifting through the final tie uh, through the final corner so having a bit of fun with it as we're going to be solidly p2 anyway but you can see <laughs> a bit of fun spinning across the line getting a bit of style going on to the podium but that has been the last of first challenge around Monaco. We went from last all the way to P2. I made a mistake on the strategy. Probably could have been P1, but that's that's how it goes sometimes. Leave below in the comments who you think is going to win the race in Monaco this weekend. Until then, have an amazing weekend. Enjoy the race, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.